is Zoe Trooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install custom vests and add-ons into your guys' EUP on your guys' 5M server. Now if you haven't already watched the previous version which was showing you guys how to install EUP onto your 5M server for free, then be sure to watch that. Or if you already have it installed, then you can continue on without watching that. But what you guys are going to want to do is click the first link down in the description below. Well, that will mean guys right here to the EUP Generate Firearms Vest. You don't have to install this one, this is just an example I'm using. If you do want to install a separate EUP uniform, then feel free to do so, but it's going to be the exact same for pretty much any other EUP vest, so you can follow along with a different mod if you want to. But hit download and download the mod you're going to install, open it on up, and you should be able to see somewhere in your download you'll be greeted with some EUP files that look a little bit different to your standard EUP files you'd have in GTA 5 story mode. It's actually not that different, but the main difference is having this a little bit of text before the actual name of the file that it'll be replacing which is npm free mode 01 it might be different for you but basically what this is is the file that it will be going into so it basically directs where this file will be going into because on 5m servers you don't actually have full access to your gta 5 database so this basically tells it where it's pulling the game resources from so to install this what you guys are going to want to do is open up your file explorer Go to wherever your 5M server is installed. So for me, that's on the C drive. Go to FX server and go to TX data, then CFX default. Go into resources and look for your EUP stream folder. Go into stream. And as you guys can see, pretty much every other file here begins with the first half of the file directory. So to do this, what you guys want to do, very, very simply, drag and drop it into your game like so and then replace the files in the destination. If it doesn't ask you to replace the files in the destination, I would double check to make sure that everything is named correctly. But if it is and you have double checked, then just install it. And if it doesn't spawn into your game, then comment down below, I'll try to help you or I'll direct you to a server, a Discord server for some more help. Once you guys have done that, that's pretty much it. Now it is going into game and I'll show you guys how to actually put that onto your character. So once you guys have spawned in, all you guys are gonna to wanna to do to actually be able to spawn in your uniforms is press M to open up your V menu. If you don't have V menu, then make sure you guys watch my tutorial on how to do that as well. I'll leave that in the info card in the top right hand corner. Or if I forget to, then you can just find it on my channel. Scroll down a bit and you should be able to see it. But what you guys are going to want to do is go to player related options, then go to MP pair customization, create a male character, or go on one of your save characters. It's really up to you. But for the sake of the video, we'll create a new character. And then you can customize your character how you want. And I'll cut back once I've done that. So once you guys have done that, I literally just changed one or two things because for the sake of the video, I didn't want to take ages. But what you guys want to do is then go into your character clothes and then go down to shirt and accessory or body armor accessory and scroll through them until you find the right one. So for this one, I know it is on drawable two, as you guys can see here. But if you guys are scrolling through and it takes a while to spawn in like this one did, that is because it's actually loading the model. So usually when it isn't spawning in straight away, like on this one as well, it's taking a bit to spawn in. That is usually because it is spawning in a custom one. So there you guys go. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys now have all the EUP vests you need. And obviously, some of the packs on 5M and stuff like that are paid for, and they can be quite expensive. But the best website I'd recommend going to if you guys are looking for UK EUP is going to unionmods.com. That's where I got this from, and that there are tons and tons and tons of other EUP mods there for free. And also check out on lcpdfr.com, even though that's for LSPDFR in story mode, there are quite a few 5M ready EUP packs on there as well. And then you can go through some Discord servers and you should be able to find some free ones too. Obviously make sure whenever you guys are installing some files from Discord servers and stuff like that, you're always being safe. But other than that, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one. Cheers and goodbye.